How a House is Built by Gail Gibbons Many people live in houses. They are built with different materials. Houses are built in many shapes and sizes too. There are many kinds of houses. This is how a wood frame house is built. First, an architect draws plans. The architect recommends a general contractor who will be in charge of building the house. During the months ahead, the general contractor will hire all these people to complete the project. At the construction site, the surveyor measures for the foundation. He hammers wooden stakes into the ground where the corners of the house will be. A well is being drilled. A word in the story is foundation. Foundation is the bottom part of a building or structure. Let's say the word foundation together. Ready? Foundation. When you say foundation, I hear a f sound at the beginning of the word. Look, foundation begins with the letter F. Here is a picture that shows foundation. This picture shows the construction of the bottom part of the building, or the foundation of the building. This house has a rock foundation. The bottom of the house, or foundation, is made of rock and stone. I wonder how many syllables are in the word foundation. Let's find out by clapping. Foundation. Three syllables. Now can you say foundation three times by clapping the syllables with your hands? Foundation. The heavy equipment operators come rumbling up the road. They dig a hole where the foundation will go. The foundation will support the weight of the house. A word in this story is support. Support means to hold up. Let's say the word support together. Ready? Support. When you say support, I hear a s sound at the beginning of the word. Look, support begins with the letter S. Here is a picture that shows support. These cables support, or hold up, the Zakem Bridge in Boston. Here's another picture that shows support. The legs of this table support it to hold it up. I wonder how many syllables are in the word support. Let's find out by clapping. Ready? Su-port. Two syllables. Now can you say support three times by clapping the syllables with your hands? Ready? Su-port. 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 Next, the foundation builders arrive. They dig trenches around the edges. Then they line the trenches with boards to make a form. Trucks move into place and pour concrete. Concrete. Concrete is the stable material that the foundation is made out of. When the concrete is hard, the boards are removed. This is the footing for the foundation. The footing will give the house a firm base. Then the foundation builders build forms on the footing for the foundation walls. The concrete trucks come and go to fill the forms. The concrete floor of the basement is poured and smoothed over. The forms are removed when the concrete is hard. Tar is smoothed on the outside walls so moisture can't get inside. Then the bulldozer pushes or backlifts the dirt up against the outside of the foundation. The septic system crew arrives. They dig a hole and lower a septic tank into it. A pipe goes from the basement to the septic tank. The waste from drains in the house will flow into the septic tank. Here comes the carpenter crew. Out come their tools. They bolt down boards called the sill to the top of the foundation. Then they hammer heavier boards called joists into place.
The carpenters nail sheets of plywood to the joists, making what is called a deck. It is the floor to the house. Got it. Next, they begin to frame the house. They study the architect's plans. They saw pieces of wood to their correct sizes. They nailed together an outside wall of the house. The carpenter crew pushes the wall up and nails it into place. Another wall goes up, and another. Finally, all the walls are in place. Now the carpenters frame in the roof. Roof rafters are nailed to the ridge board. Soon the framing of the house will be complete. They begin to enclose the house by nailing sheets of plywood to the outside of the frame. This is called sheathing. Then they saw out the spaces for the windows and doors. Felt paper is nailed to the outside of the plywood to keep moisture out. Moisture is another word for water. On the roof, a carpenter is busy nailing down shingles. Other carpenters nail clapboard siding to the side of the house. Day after day, the work continues. The mason is almost finished building the chimney. Windows and doors are installed. Inside the house, interior walls are nailed into place. An electrician runs wire through the walls to outlets and switches. Plumbers install the pipes that bring water to faucets and carry waste from drains to the septic system. Interior. Gail Gibbons writes that the carpenters nail the interior walls to the inside of the house. Interior means inside. Let's say the word interior together. Ready? Interior. When you say interior, I hear the I sound. Look, interior begins with the letter I. Here is a picture that shows interior. This picture shows the interior of the inside of a house. Insulation is tucked between studs to keep heat inside the house. The drywall crew cuts and nails the drywall into place. They smear joint compound onto the drywall joints to make smooth walls. Next, the finished floors are nailed down. Windows and doors are trimmed. The painters paint the walls. Everything is almost done. The electrician hooks up the light fixtures. Cabinets are installed. The plumber puts in the bathtub, toilets, and sinks. The furnace and hot air ducts are installed. Outside, the landscapers notice that the grass they planted is beginning to grow. They dig a hole for one more bush. For many months, this has been a very busy place. At last, the work is done. Now the house is ready to become a home.